<sighs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe that I've done this to myself, but <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this new alarm, but I bought a Spectre Alert Advanced. Just look at this thing. It just like looks like, oh my gosh. <sighs> yep. That's a, that's a Spectre Alert. It's actually so loud that I'm in a different room, and I have a door closed. So I'm I'm in a room where it wouldn't it won't like disturb my parents upstairs. But this Spectre Alert is like probably the loudest alarm currently available in the fire alarm market. It is crazy. Like just just look at this thing. It doesn't look that bad, but trust me, it's terrible. And I I know that we that we we've all seen. Spectre alerts, but man, this one's just terrible. I um, <clears throat> I have um, two of these. I bought. I, I bought two. I've only used one of them, which is this one, but I haven't used the other one yet. Um, yeah. So the spectre alerts crazy, and I know that everybody's seen them. They're like one of the most common alarms out there. But still, I just wanted to do an experience from my side of the view. So, this is probably something that you'll never see. You'll probably never see a simplex pole station with, with a spectra alert. It's just very uncommon. I guess in case you want to see it, I can show you like the back of it and stuff. Alright, so, if I just take this and snap off the back, as you can see it's wired. And now, we have the actual spectra alert itself. So this thing is pretty cool, if I say so myself. Um, it has a pretty cool interior, I think. Um, if you look over here, there's like the red fire lettering right there. It has a pretty cool strobe, if you look right there. It's pretty big, actually. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be like, li like that big, but yeah. My school actually has these alarms. They're pretty, they're pretty darn loud. Um, it's set to, what does it say? Yeah, focus. 135 candela, yes. And, actually, my, um, my spectral isn't a P2R, it's a P2RH. It's a bit of a different model. And that, that is because the candela setting, it can't go to 15. So, like, 135 is the lowest setting that it has. I can only go to that. I can't go to 15, and here's the candela slider. It's kind of hard to push. And then I have the volume selector right here, I think. Oop. The volume selector on here is set to 1. I'm not setting it to 6, otherwise that would, like, blow, like, like my ears off. But, yeah. All right, so, as you can see... I have it wired up here, and I have my other uh, Edwards speaker strobe, but that's not wired, it's wired to this, and the really cool thing is, is that you can do all, all your wiring, and then you can just snap this back on, and yeah, so here, let me just put this back on, because it's going to be a lot easier if I do that. Alright. Alright, so this alarm is back on, and now I'm going to get my ears blown away by doing this and now I'm gonna key activate it just because it makes it a little, a little easier to do but oh my gosh guys actually no here I'm, I'm, I'll pull it down all right guys ready three two one <laughs> Oh jeez, that is so loud! It blows my ears off every time. Wow, I don't even know why they allow alarms this loud to be allowed in this country, <laughs> in this world, even actually. But that is the very, very, very loud spectral advance. If you guys enjoyed. Please let me know by clicking the like button. My ears are dead. <laughs>
Alright guys, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later guys. Goodbye!